Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Creations by Lisi here on this platform. If you guys like beauty, lifestyle, general health, mental health, vlogs, hair videos such as this one, definitely stay tuned. Make sure you turn on those push notifications so that you're aware when I post another video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's going through it but um here is a before shot okay edges are not done freshly washed cornrows i really just went in the sh uh, shower and i just used my uh ginger rinse love this because it is a deep cleanser um so right now the ends are a little bit still wet it's actually easier than individual braids because individual braids it's like a lot harder to like really dry the ends unless you use a blow dryer but as you can tell, there's not much water coming out. So it's a little bit still damp, which is to be expected since I just got out the shower. But we're gonna go ahead and start revamping this hair back to basically when I got it done. Going in with my leave-in conditioner, I'm essentially just gonna put this on my hair and on my scalp since my scalp is exposed. So yeah, I'm putting it on my braids and then I'm also putting it on my scalp because I need my scalp to be moisturized as well since it is exposed and in general this is kind of what I do anyways because my hair needs my leave-in conditioner like I love leave-in conditioner it makes my hair stronger my strands stronger and I'm really going all the way down too so I'm not just focusing on the top I'm going all the way down and smoothing and massaging that in Even when you have these protective hairstyles, you definitely still want to take care of your hair underneath. You definitely still want to take care of your hair underneath, please. I'm begging you. That way you don't have breakage and any other hair problems that might come up. So I'm putting that on my edges as well. Now we're going to go and focus the um, leave-in conditioning on the hair basically where my hair is in the braids because now you can start to see where it is since I have colored hair at the ends of my braids but of course we're gonna kind of cover that up too because I don't like to see that especially in colored braids as much as possible anyways so I'm putting it on the strands where my hair is so that is done now we're gonna go in with my moisturizer I usually put my moisturizer on the nape of my hair because that's the most sensitive and my edges because again that's the most sensitive so I'm just going to massage that into the nape area like I said please do not avoid with any protective hairstyle especially straight backs don't avoid the nape area I promise you you will regret it later on especially when you try to put up them high ponytails sis you're going to regret it and then put it on my edges that in so you can't see the white anymore all right so once that is complete then you're gonna go in and put oil on I honestly don't like to put too much product on my straight backs because it can easily get dirty again because I do like to work out and I am like doing a lot of act outdoor activities so I don't like to put too much product on my hair and it just makes it so much easier just to maintain so the last step I go in well the second to last step I go in and just put some oil I have my favorite oil that definitely helps with breakage so if you want a general health oil for like nine ten dollars definitely invest in that one it's the best to me um, it really helps with just breakage in general and just moisturizing your hair and making your hair grow all at the same time. I like to use my Myel Growth Oil. Love this because it is not as expensive, um, but it's a growth oil that helps my hair grow. So, I mean, sometimes you gotta pay a little bit more for your hair to really succeed and see results. So I'm just putting this on my scalp. I like that it has a little droplet so you could just 
put it on easily and not have to worry about missing a section. And then I just use my fingers to kind of just go through the scalp. And then I finish the rest of it. Now we're going to get into the styling portion, which is the best part to me, in my opinion. So I usually use some mousse just to style my hair as well. Um, I use this on my clients and this mousse is like the bomb. I usually do my edges before I put on my mousse because I'm going to put on a scarf and set the whole thing all together. And since I just washed my hair, it's not going to take a lot, which I love that for me. Because I've been noticed, like, whenever you have, like, dirty hair, it takes longer. Or it takes a lot more product to do your edges. But then when you have, like, clean hair, it doesn't take that long. So once I have my edges to my liking, which is pretty much what I like, I'm going to go in. that all out put my mousse on shake it up I always want to shake up the product first so it doesn't come out with just water or the product comes out smoothly and this is the mousse that I use like I said I use it on my clients Virgo it is the or Vigro oh that's not like Vigro hold on Vigoro maybe Vigoro I don't know y'all this is just the best mousse to set any type of braiding style or any type of protective hairstyle it is the best um, to me in my opinion I choose this mousse over any other mousse and I'm just gonna set this all I'm not gonna set it on my edges because this is a water base and I don't want my edges to lift up and just put this on the back because there is definitely frizz where my hair starts and stops in my braids. And I'm just putting it where my hair is because it's pretty easy to feel. I'm going to put on my scarf. to tie it as tight as possible over my hair make sure I'm covering up everything boom cool and now I'm going to use my blow dryer medium heat and medium medium heat medium speed What it's gonna be looking like it's gonna finish setting but overnight but this is just like I guess a preview of what to see so as you can tell there's not that much frizz my hair is definitely more clean than what it was before and of course I'm gonna go back over my edges well these edges a little bit keep them more in place but so far so good and yeah guys this is the end of my video um, like I said I'm just gonna let it set overnight with this scarf on so I can finish um, you know doing what it needs to do working its magic I'll see you guys in my next video like this video give me comments down below of what you think about this video and yeah this should be an easy way to um, do your hair or maintain protective hairstyles if you don't feel like taking it out yet or it's not ready to be taken out yet and just do your regular routine and then you're good to go and boom voila it's back to normal